Ladies and gentlemen, Fulton County Schools proudly presents the annual Fulton Film Festival with your host, Jessica Hayes. and welcome to the Fulton Film Festival. My name is Jessica Hayes and I'll be your host this evening for tonight's awards. The Fulton Film Festival was created by Hal Funderburg, the film and video instructor at Cambridge High School, in an effort to showcase the many talents of Fulton County students. All film and video students from Fulton County Schools were invited to participate, starting with our middle school all the way up to our fourth year high school filmmakers. Students were given three genres to work in, and those were comedy, drama, and suspense. To make the films even more interesting, the students were given a set of prompts to include in their films. This year's prompts were, they had to have a character by the name of Casey Carter. Additionally, students had to include and interact with batteries within their film. And finally, somewhere in the film, the filmmakers had to include the line of dialogue, I didn't see that coming. The films were judged by the participating Fulton County film and video teachers, with high and low scores tossed out to enhance the fairness. Additionally, students were divided into three categories, middle school, novice level one high school, and advanced levels two, three, and four high school. We will go through each genre and award that genre of film. Additionally, at the end of the program, we will award the best overall film for the 2021 Fulton Film Festival. The nominees for best advanced comedies are... He like started to try and trash talk me. I'm sorry, is this Casey? Or did you put your little brother on the game? Oh yeah, uh oh, here I go, and a duck. Woo! You need to understand how astronomically bad you are at this game. God, you're so hot. He has to be the most perfect human being to ever grace the planet Earth. Do we really have to use that line? Yeah, you're not reading that wrong. The line is, where's my orange juice? No, there, there's no way that's our line. We had such a good idea. How are we supposed to fit that line okay, in? Okay, calm down. It's okay. We just, we gotta plan some things out a little bit, but we'll be all right. And the winner for best comedy is... Well, Miss Casey Carter, I had fun tonight. Same here, Ryan Beckerman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that's my cue. Text me, okay? We'll do, Cece. God, you're so hot. Dad, he has to be the most perfect human being to ever grace the planet Earth. Dad, I'm actually going to marry him. He's literally the definition of perfection. Like you'll actually love him more than you love me. Oh, it's true love. Like him and I are just so... Um, what's wrong? Well, you're not gonna like this. You know, your mother and I bought a house in Florida and we're gonna be moving right away. So you and your brother, y'all need to start packing because we're moving Sunday. You need to tell all your friends goodbye. Especially that new boyfriend. I have to break up with him? Hey, you got any batteries? <laughs> nope, not doing that. Why do people like Florida so much? Just because it's warm and sunny and has beaches, actually that's valid, but still, like he's so, so sweet and he just makes me feel so special. How do I break up with someone like him? 
Wait. I got it. <sighs> it's not you. It's me. You're so mean to me. You smell bad. You never make any time for me. You're a bad texter. You always laugh at me. You make me want to puke. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't break up with him. You're so mean to me. <sighs> you smell bad. It's not you. It's me. You make me want to puke. <laughs> you never make any time for me. You're a bad texter. <laughs> I just can't do this. <sighs> what do you want? It's not you. It's me. Real creative. Oh yeah, well, what would you say? Maybe, just maybe, an idea. Tell him we're moving. We're breaking up. Matthew, I can't just say we're moving. That's not a good enough reason to break up with some. <sighs> Ryan, I'm sorry, but this can't go on. I'm moving to Florida next week, and long distance is something I just can't handle. So, I'm sorry, but we need to break up. Told you. Yeah, that's like... Actually perfect. <gasps> oh God. You are so, so amazing. I'm so glad you're in my life. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, bubs. XOXO. <gasps> Are you good? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm actually amazing. Yeah, you look great. Oh, uh, thanks. <sighs> I have to tell you something. That's great, so do I. Wait, what do you have to tell me? Let's just say it on three. Um, uh, okay. You ready? One, two, three. I'm, I'm okay seeing Carly. Wait, what? Oh, thank God. Well, since we're on the same page, I have to go see Carly, so I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> but you texted me last night. Wait, that was you? <laughs> no wonder she didn't respond. I mean, we had a great night, but that's all it was, so I'll see you later. Oh, and not to be rude or anything, but you look like a complete mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see that coming. The nominees for Best Advanced Drama are... What, you don't think I can do it? That's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? Are you sure you're in the right place mentally? Of course I am! It was awful. Every weekend at 7am, Angeline would play that same song, waking me up before I really wanted or needed to. What are you doing? Dude, this is why you've been skipping school? Man, it's none of your business. Get out of my house, okay? Just get out! This isn't what he would have wanted. It's been over a year. How would you know what he would have wanted? And the winner for Best Advanced Drama is... I never expected an eventful life. On the weekdays, my routine is pretty much the same. I wake up... <laughs> brush my teeth, have some coffee, make breakfast, go to work, come home for dinner, and sleep. Day in and day out, it's pretty much the same thing. On the weekends, though, I become writer extraordinaire Casey Carter. I write about love, life, the universe, really deep stuff, things that move you, you know? And that was pretty much my whole life. Or rather, it was until everything changed. Let me tell you, it was really hard to ignore the music that next morning. Seven in the morning, I've got to get up, oh, I'm so tired. Well, let's put some music on, it will get me going. Don't know something like a fucking bow my ch
it was awful. Every weekend at 7am, Angeline would play that same song, waking me up before I really wanted or needed to. And that wasn't the only thing. She took my coffee, and she turned the heat up. I didn't really see that coming at all. I should probably explain this whole situation. I've been living in this house for a while now, and Angeline just happened to be the person who was renting it that month. And of course, she was also the only person who could have clashed with me in almost every way. But I worked around it, and she kind of grew on me. It started small with dinnertime conversation. Turns out she's an artist, and a really good one too. She also loves the lake, and dogs, ew. And she likes pearls because they remind her of her grandmother. She hates reading, but loves audiobooks, and never really seems to run out of energy. And as we got used to each other, our routines changed too. I figured out what that song was. It's 7am by Jacqueline Taeb. It was fitting for our 7am routine, I guess. We'd wake up and have coffee and breakfast, work, dinner, and late night conversations like always. But like everything good, things eventually do have to come to an end. It hit me like a brick wall. I woke up one day expecting it to be 7, expecting to wake up to that song, expecting to see her when I woke up. But she was gone, with nothing to leave except for that song. I still cherish it to this day. Must have gone with the wind. It's a Monday, isn't it? Oh, I have an English exam today. Mm, I wish I had. And the nominees for Best Advanced Suspense are. Prettier than I thought you would be. What's that supposed to mean? You're not going to open that without me, are you? You're late. What's in here anyways? No questions. Wasn't that part of our agreement? Is that my money? Open the lock. Okay, but what about the deal that we Open had about- Open the lock. And the winner for best suspense is... attention to itself. Do not, under any circumstances, unlock the back of the van. We will meet at 9 p.m. at the location we previously discussed. Then, and only then, will you open the back of the van. If everything seems to be in order, you'll get your money. <laughs> 